Well, today's weatherwise segment will go over ice falling from the sky and mainly the difference between grapple and hail. Now, most people don't know what grapple is, even though we had some this past weekend. So for grapple, we start off with snow falling out of a nimbo stratus cloud. The snow then falls through super cooled water droplets, which then tend to stick to that snowflake and freeze. Now that turns that snowflake into a soft ice pellet. Now, grapple hits the ground and it can break apart because the ice structure is not nearly strong enough. And here's a great example of some grapple on a car. And of course, also on its windshield looks like little tiny uh, styrofoam balls, pretty much. Now, hail, that begins in a cumulonimbus cloud and starts with super cooled water that then freezes in the upper portions of a cloud. Now, of course, that tiny ice pellet gets a little heavy when it turns to ice. And thanks to gravity, it begins to fall. Now, then a strong warm updraft lifts that pellet back up into the freezing portion of the cloud. And as it goes up, other water droplets cling to the surface and freeze to it. So as it continues this up and down process, more and more layers are added until it's too heavy and it then falls out of the cloud. So a great way to see how many times that hailstone has moved up and down is to look at a cross section. You can see those different layers in there. Kind of looks like an onion. Well, that shows how many times that that hailstone went up and down, gathered more water and refroze. And then here is a look at a massive baseball sized hail that fell in Texas just Monday night. So to recap, the big difference between hail and grapple is that the environment in which it forms, winter weather systems produce grapple and hail is formed in a thunderstorm.